on the weekend, I had a customer call me. Their truck driver was a couple of hundred of Ks out of Perth and had run out of fuel. The owner of the trucks were calling me because neither him nor his truck driver actually knew how to bleed the fuel system. So today we thought we would show you how to bleed the fuel system on a high Azuzu truck. So as you can see, this is where the fuel filter goes and it has a button primer on top. The first thing you'll do when, if you run out of fuel, first thing you do is obviously you're going to need to put diesel in the truck. Then what you'll do is you'll tilt the cab, then you'll find your fuel filter which has the primer on it. Nine times out of ten they're under the cab, sometimes they're on the chassis. The first thing we do then is we would crack the bleeder, righty tighty, lefty loosey. We want to open it just enough so that when you pump the primer, diesel actually comes yep. out of the comes out of the bleed stream. And what you'll do is you'll continue to pump until you get one continuous stream of diesel that has no air bubbles on it. So in my video behind me, you'll see that we've got a tube on it. In the workshop, we put it into, we collect it into a canister, which then goes into our oil wastage. So you'll see I'm putting the light behind the tube, and you can see the bubbles running through the tube. So when that runs completely clear and there's no more bubbles, what we do then is we would tighten the bleed screw, pull the tube off, and then we would continue to pump yep. for a little while. On the side of the road, I would pump up to 100 times, being full compressions, unless it goes hard, and because the last thing you want to do is start this all over again. So if you go to start this, and you haven't bled it enough, what will happen is it will pump out straight away, and then you have to restart the process all over again. If you continue to do that over and over again, there's also a high possibility that you can kill your battery, and then you will well and truly be stranded. So once we have primed the fuel filter, we go to start the truck. You can do this while the cab is still over. Just make sure it's in neutral and the park brake is on. We turn the key, start the truck, and as soon as the truck starts, we up the RPM using our, our accelerator pedal because we want it to continue to pick fuel up. If it doesn't continue to pick fuel up, it can conk out and we'll be starting the process all over again.